Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Jank Tank. Today we're going to be trying out uh, Cruel and uh, Erborg Lurgoyf today. So we have the brand new Cruel Som Somophage. And we have the Lurgoyf, Erborg Lurgoyf. So we're going to try to self-mill Saltai list and see how this deck does. We played it last, or a few seasons ago, when Erborg Lurgoyf came out. And it needed some few more pieces. And I think this could be a deck that could see some competitive play in the future we're gonna try it out see if it actually can compete in today's format so let's get into the deck list before we do make sure you smash that like button subscribe hit that bell notification so we've ordered for future videos and let's get into it so the deck list we have uh four sprouts three shamans stitcher supplier to help fill the yard cruel of course to help fill up the yard and become a big threat we have Seder Wayfinder to help dig for lands, make sure we keep curving out. Lurgoyf is a powerful uh, creature in general. Then we have Murderous Rider as a another adventure card, which is kind of important, I guess, with with uh, Sentinel of Lost lore in the sideboard. Then we have C CDC, of course. It's one of the cards I like in Sultai that fit this kind of strategy. And plus, the more creatures we have, the better Lurgoyf is, so... It's nice that our creatures are also spells. So we have four pushes, two uh, Wither Bloom commands to help fill up the yard, get our card draw, our, uh, our lands. So we have 24 lands. We could definitely decrease this. Um, it might be right, correct to do that. But Fable Passage should sh help reduce the land in Zen deck. So let's see how that works out. And then we have a uh, sideboard wise, we have three Thought Seizes for the combo slash control matchups. Terror Slender for Parhelion, Artifacts, and Enchantments. Um, we have uh, Mystical Dispute for the Control matchup. Necromentia we can bring in against combo decks. Sentinel of the Lost Lore is our Graveyard Hate piece. Uh, I figured it could also help if we have used Murder's Rider's, you know, instant speed swift in. We can maybe play that, exile their graveyard, and get the Murder's Rider back to maybe do another swift in. So that's maybe relevant. Then we have an extinction event for Mono Green and Aggro. Kalitos also for Aggro. That is Sultai. Self mill for Pioneer. Let's get into it. Swamp Supplier Gu. Castle Lockwain passes. Forest. Seder Wayfinder. Take Fable Passage. Attack. Pathway on Green. Destroy Trophy. Assassin's Trophy. Sure. Get an island. Watery Grave. Tax. Attack. Field of Ruin. Okay. Goes attacking the Watery Grave. Grab a Forest. Passes. Fable Passage. Crack the Passage. Island. Multi-kick a Herborg Lurgoyf. Attack. Pathway on Black. Besiege the Mirror. I don't think he sacked anything. So you get something putting in a hand. Passes. Put that on Black, I guess. And then we just... Weather Bloom Command, we'll drain and mill. We probably don't, I guess we can mill ourselves and get back Breeding Pool, hit you. Maybe I should have just played this uh, Citrus Supplier. Forest, Extinction Event, probably on even. Passes, Breeding Pool, untapped. Cast, we'll drain and mill. Got game one against this kind of matchup. Fatal Push didn't seem... Impressive. Thought Seize may be better. And we could bring in maybe a Cali Toss for another threat. Run it like that. Ley Line of the Void. Tap Land. Watery Grave. Untapped. Thought Seize. Take Abrupt Decay. Pass. W Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. Passes. Breeding Pool. Tapped. Pass. Glade. Gets Kihiria in hand. Sure. Passes. Play the Island. Uh, we will go ahead and wake up, make you mill, thought seize, take the Gahiri, pass, want passes, watery grave, taps, death right shaman, pass, fatal pushes it, play the forest, turns on the cottage, okay, hits me for four, sprout, tap land, pass, Titania's command, makes a couple bears and gets two lands, it's another cottage and a tomb. Play Death, uh, Shaman, pass, Field of Ruin, turns on the Cottage, goes to combat, attacks, Swift in the Cottage, we double block, a bear, probably lose our Deathrite Shaman, Treacherous Blessing, 
So we cast Murderous Rider. Pretty sure this should be one toughness. Yeah. Hit you, I guess. Trial. Okay. Comes down, we sack the, the bonnet. Acts it to beseech the mirror. Baraska probably eats the rider. Attacks with the bear. Makes sense. Let's mill him. Just cast a Lurgoif. Hand check. Take the blessing. Pass. Draws another blessing. Classic Thought Beast. Thought Seize Bug. Fatal pushes my cr cruel. I think you're better off just with it, turning on the cottage and attacking. Sacks a blessing to Veroska. That's a nice little synergy. Plays a glade. Turns on the cottage. All right. Hits me to two. So we drain him and I guess destroy. Because milling doesn't help us. Let's we mill him. But that's not good either. And the minus one doesn't matter. I guess we name that and drain. Cast cruel. Pass. He just down ticks this and we still lose. Besiege the mirror. Sure. So we bring in Terra Thunder over Thought Seize and the Kali Toss. I don't like that. Starts off with a ley line. We play Breeding Pool tapped. Goo. Overgrown Tomb tapped. Passes. Overgrown Tomb untapped. Wayfinder. I guess get Triome. Tomb tapped. Passes. Triome. Seder. Take Pathway. Attack. Pathway on black. Blessings. Passes. Then on black. Sedisi. Hedja. Glade. Beseech. Me guess. EE -E on even. Yep. Island. Shaman. Rider. Pass. Cottage. Scorns my rider. Fatal pushes. Sprout. Mill and drain. Target you for both. Cast a Lurgoyf. Pass. Blessing. Okay, we still have all of our removal spells for the void. Swamp. Puts Kihira in hand. Sprout mills. Watery grave. We don't really want that. Stater. Still nothing of use other than the CDC would be okay. Play the tomb. Attack. Forest. Siege the mirror. Veraska. Probably does not down tick. Because then I just snipe it. Plays the Kihira. Sacks. Nothing. Me mill a murderous rider. Thought sees. Take blessing. Pass. Path of peril. Gets rid of my board. Plays a glade and s swings in with a cottage. And the Kihira. Sure. Sacks the food. Draws a card. Yeah, we draw a swamp. I'm off. Okay, 0 and 1. We just could not answer this ley line of the void. Probably has four of them in his deck. Let's get into the next. Blains. Passes. Pathway on green. Sprout. Goo. Plains. Daxos, mill a card, swamp, fatal push, attack, planes, heliod. Haven't seen that card in a minute. Watery grave, untapped, lurgoif, attack, Sh nick those, passes, mill a card, cruel, watery grave, untapped, sedisi, go to combat, attack, aganju's my bonnet, takes five. Portable hole. Use the Urborg. Sure. Passes. We draw a breeding pool. Let's mill ourselves and cast Cruel. Breeding pool tapped. Attack. Sidisi. Makes a zombie. Pass the turn. Self a savior. That's a good dog. Passes. Go to combat. Attack. Mill some cards. Make another zombie. Chumps. Takes decent amount of damage. Gives that life link. Nah, I don't really want to do that. I'll let him gain a life. I think I just passed. Don't commit anything else. We got a 12-12. Got game one. Now what should we expect? Probably need this. Fatal push is good to keep him off devotion. Probably EE -E is fine too. Probably down the command. A shaman and a satyr. Run it like that. Planes. Veteran. Passes. Triumph. Give another veteran, Emery, tapped. I mean, Amiria hit, hits me for one. Forest, Seder, take a breeding pool, Plains, Boros Reckoner, breeding pool, tapped, pass, Plains, attacks. All right, take a point of damage, but that turns on Fatal Push. Pathway on Black, Multicast, Kicker. The Lurgoyf. It's probably Sprock's a portable hole. Nope, Daxos. Gains a bunch of life. Skyclave Appetizers. Eats my Lurgoyf. Gains a bunch of life. Hits me for two. They get Fatal Push. So put that... Uh, maybe I don't play Takanuma. Blue, blue, black, black. I think I still put that on black. EE -E on odd. And then Fatal Push the Daxos. 
and pass. Plays a plane. Passes. So we go to combat. Attack. Pass. Self is spirit. Passes. We'll attack a Numa. Uh, attack a Numa. Get back. Urborg. Untap. Multi kick it. I think I go to combat. Attack. I don't want to commit this yet. Goes to combat. Passes. That is interesting. Another Lurgoyf. Attack out. Chomps. Takes two. Passes his turn. Play the Urborg. Go to combat. Attack. Did we get there? Archangel of Avacyn. That could chomp. I definitely should have probably Terra Sundered this. Ganja's way the token. Uh, but that's fine. Anyways. So he has to draw a magic card here. A good one. Okay. Makes two four fours. And passes. Swift in. Go to combat. Got it. One and one. Get into the next. Get into the next. Mutable. Passes. Overgrown tomb. Sprout. Goo. Forest. Turns on the vault. Hits me. Take it. Millicard. So I think I play Triome. Supplier. And attack. Stormseeker. Gives it haste. Attacks. We chomp. Millicard. It flips. We're lucky. Play a tap land. We'll play Seder as a chump blocker. Take a pathway. Attack with the Hulk. Sokasun plays a Tovar. Gives it haste. Attacks out. Oh yeah, we uh, definitely chomp. He does get to draw a card. We mill. Are we uh, we will, we will eat something. The Seder seems fine. Put that on green. Mill herself and cast the backside? Most Gruul decks can't answer this. They could probably have a Crow in War. Alright, kills my other threat. Forest. A Crow in War would be really bad here. That's cool. I like it. Probably put the, should put it here, honestly. Oh yeah, this has Menace. Yeah, hits me. Take it. He gets to draw a card. Seder. Take a Swamp. Play that set Swamp. And pass. So that makes everything flip. Ooh. Ambusher. Give that thing haste. I like. Uh, the problem is, how do I win? Yeah, that's going to kill my satyr. I should probably have... Okay, yeah, it's over. So we definitely bring in EE. -E, maybe Kalitas. Go down CDC. And maybe a Shaman. Maybe Terra Sunder over Command. Because that at least can answer a big thing. Right like that. Tomb. Tapped. Go. Tapped. Veil. Passes. Swamp. Castle or Goyf. Go. Pathway on green. Pack leader. Passes. Watery grave untapped. Lurgoyf kicked. Pass. I guess we, at least we got rid of two lands out of the way. Forest. Attacks. Take it. Ranger class. Shoots down a Lurgoyf. Pathway on blue. Kalitas. Pass. Mutiful. Pays into ranger class. Attacks with the werewolf pack leader. Take it. Passes. Trion. Stitcher supplier. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Takes it. Down to 13. Pass. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Gets to draw a card. Puts the counter on the pack leader. Go to combat. I mean, uh, blocks. We uh, block with the supplier. Get him to trigger his trample. Doesn't. Plays a tap gorge. Okay, plays a one drop. He does have a mutable for a blocker. Passes. Another land. Pull, tapped. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Chomps. Takes three. We go to 15. We pass. Gorge tapped. Based on how he's tapping, I'm assuming he has a protection spell. Tolvar goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Should put the counter on the wolf. We block here and eat the zombie. Put counters on the Kalitas. Another messenger. Passes. Untap. Tomb. Tapped. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Chomps. It's going to take five. Okay, safekeeping. So that means this is the time Fatal Push the Pack Leader. And let's cycle. Play a Sprout. Go. Okay, he flips. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. What are you going to do? You're going to pay into the Tolvar? Arsonist. Burning Hands Sprout. Am I dead? Four, eight. I don't think I'm exactly dead. You should be sniping the zombie. Oh, I'm Xaxes. Wow. Okay, one and two. Let's get into the wrap up. So what do we learn this week about this deck? Overall, we went one and two. I feel like that last game, we would definitely, we were in it. So 
I feel like it's not too big of a deal. Now, against the first match, I feel like we would have potentially won it. I should have brought in the Terra Sunders game two. That maybe would have gave me the shot to win game two instead of having to go to game three. Um, Terra Sunder is kind of, you know, important to that role. Um, we just couldn't beat the ley line of the void. So keep that in mind if you try to pick up this deck. Uh, this deck can just fold to that. Now, if we, like I said, if they are on the graveyard hate plan, we can just go down the Cali Toss route. Maybe we want Shieldred instead, but it's really up, I guess, up to you guys what you guys want to do with the deck. Um, I just like CDC, so that's just a personal favorite card. So, like, if you really, you could definitely could just swap Shieldred in that slot and probably do a much better record, um, be more competitive. But me being me, I just like CDC, a thrice throwback card. Uh, I think the creature portion of the deck felt pretty on par. I wonder if there's a creature that maybe is worth it, like the Might. Maybe that's worth some slots. Uh, it is a creature. We can sack it, eat a graveyard hate piece. So maybe that's worth some consideration because we do want some, gra more probably more graveyard hate. I mean, uh, anti-graveyard hate. If you have any suggestions for that, let me know down in the comment section. What cards would you have considered for the sideboard to maybe bridge that gap against those matchups that have a lot of graveyard hate? Uh, maybe Cali Toss this isn't enough. Uh, maybe I should have actually just brought in the Cali Toss um, and cut back on the Lurgoyfs in that matchup just because Lurgoyf is a little bit risky. Cruel is fine, right? But then again, he looks like he didn't have that many creatures. He looks like he used his creature lands and then he used um, a Titanius Command. I'm assuming he was playing Seasons Past uh, based on the deck list, but I could be completely wrong, but I felt... This dog was pretty fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.